Hola, mi amigos, and welcome to the Sir Gladiator Show. In this edition of the Sir Gladiator Show, I'll be teaching you, the fans, how to play better winning StarCraft. Um, StarCraft 2, as you no doubt know, is one of the hardest games in the world, and I've played it for a long time, and I, we all have uh, room for improvement, but... Uh, this is going to be a strategy that you can use as we get into the game here um, against the highest of high levels. This, this actually is a game against the highest of level uh, computer. This is uh, the elite level. Is, uh, APM is about 350, which is as high or higher than the top human players in the world. Um, so again, this is an extremely tough opponent, and you're going to see a strategy used by someone, myself, who is really more of a strategy kind of guy than, I just, I'm going to make the uh, nexus here. Um, I'm really much more on strategy than I am on uh, being quick, but I'm not quick. And... Uh, you know, it's, it's so easy to like to forget to do things or just to do them slowly, and the, the game is very hard like that. And I'm, so you're gonna see that if I can do this successfully, that you really can, because I'm not a, a professional at speed here. I, if I were to be the professional, it would be by being clever, because I am, as you may be aware, an international chess champion. I'm, I'm sort of uh, creative and. Uh, you know, sort of like to come up with unique and clever ideas and things, you know. I'm not about speed. I'm about doing things, you know, in a unique and uh, a very, you know, high-level way. So here we're, do we're doing a scout here. We're doing a scout. We've got the uh, gateway going here. It's about done. The old uh, Nexus finishing up there a little ways ago. Not long. So we got the uh, gateway, now we're doing the cyber core. And now again, the plan here, there's a plan. It's going to be a winning plan. The plan is to, as you see, we're getting the gas. <clears throat> we're going to be going, uh, getting a lot of robo uh, facilities, a lot of immortals. As you see, we're doing the scouting. We see that this guy has a barracks here, barracks here. This guy's gas is gone. These guys expand. Okay, so he's not... Uh, doing immediate uh, aggression. Um, he's got to get my probe here. Um, we see we got the old cybernetic core here, the gateway here, and uh, I got this one here, and this, this is before. You see, I got to get these probes. The probes aren't going to the mineral line. I haven't figured that part out yet. See, if I had, uh, if I were paying more attention to that, that's because I was paying attention to the uh, scouting and things. And uh, I'll get, I'll get that. I will I'll correct that. You would trust me on that. But uh, was, see, I make a lot of mistakes because I'm not, you know, a pro level. This, so you can really count on this strategy working for you. When you see how easy the strategy is to work, how easy this works, even done suboptimally. You will know just how easy you can win with this in an optimal way. See, I got my mothership core. You always want to get that mothership core. That's really good defense. You can supercharge your pylons, you know. I like to say, I like to say it like in uh, Star Trek, where it says, arm the photonic cannon. I like to call it my photonic cannon when I'm charging up the pylon with the mothership core. <laughs> that is fun. Um, so we see I got the uh, robo here. Got another one in production, and this one is currently making an observ observer first. I always like to make my observer first, unless I really, really need the immortal. If I feel like I'm about to be attacked, then sure, you go straight to the immortal. But uh, if you get time for observer first, I like to do that. That's me. You know, it's a personal taste thing. I think it's a good idea. Um, it's up to you. So I got my uh, a stalker here. I like to make some stalkers, and at least one of the shield dudes, the uh, the sentries. You know, just for usefulness. But, uh, but especially I like to have some stalkers. Not too many necessarily, because I like to have a, more room for immortals, but 
Um, I like how some stalkers, because you got to be able to deal with the air. You never know when somebody's going to hit you with an air attack of some kind. There, there are multiple air units in the game. You, you never know. So dialogues. you need to have something to hit the air units. You know, but you, the majority of your offense, or a very large portion of it, is going to want to come from uh, Immortals. So you want to save plenty of room for that. Plenty of you know, materials and the room. So we've got two of them, two of them going. I'm going to want to build a third as well. I've got two, two gateways and two uh, robo bays. Again, we're, we're going to want to build more robos um, over time. Um, I think I went for a fairly early third here, like maybe in the near future. Um, because really, you know, why not? Right? There's no evidence of a threat, and even if there were a threat, I've already got a couple immortals out, and uh, and soon we'll be working on more. I just, I just spent a bunch of them. Uh, these uh, pylons and the uh, base here. Are we get some more immortals going soon. Let's see, we got we got one going here. Um, and we see we have another stalker going. So we're good. We're going. And for and now we, we see that I've I got my upgrade thingies going. The forge, the double forges for for double upgrade, you know, doings. Because those are those are you know very useful, very helpful to have the upgrade. And it's probably something I could have done sooner, which again, if I were more of a pro. So again, th this is something you want to do. You want to get your upgrades, you know, when you can. Um, so I'll show you this, and, and, and this is a really a point in favor of the build. Because again, nothing that I'm doing is done to perfection. So you don't have to say, oh, I have to do this to perfection in order to do it. You do not. You can see how sub-perfection this is. And, and you will see how easily I win with this, okay? I'm just getting more, more stuff... You know, we're getting the uh, upgrades going. We're on the three bases. This third base is about to finish. We got the gases going. We got the immortals uh, continuing to go. We got, we got a third robo thingy going here. And uh, we got three immortals going at once. Okay, now we're building a, a, a robotics bay so that we can uh, build Colossi at some point. I return to serve. Okay, and then as we see, he, he's returned to serve. So we, we get more, more immortals. We like that. It's just, it's just tremendous. They're so powerful. And again, you know, you do have to keep in mind you need some stalkers, to, you know, to be able to hit the air units because you don't know how many air units you're going to face in any given game. You know, if you're facing somebody who likes to build air units, maybe you're facing somebody who doesn't. You don't know. I mean, if you know, then you can react accordingly. If you know they're not building any air units, then hey, you can just skip out on the stalkers pretty much entirely, right? But uh, if you don't know that. You know, if you're just like a normal person playing a normal game, you don't know what they're doing. Um, if you like me, you scouted, you got some information, but you didn't get a lot. Um, you know, so you don't know what they're going to do. Get yourself some get yourself some uh, stalkers to go with your immortals so that you can hit any areas you might have. Because um, you're going to have so much power with these immortals. I mean, look at this. we got, uh, what, seven immortals here right now, and we're just going to keep going up. I mean, it's sweet. I mean, the power is just unreal, okay? It really is. It's unreal. And, uh, okay, so we already got uh, three bases going. They're going strong. So you're going to see that I'm putting down some cannons. I'm going to put down some cannons because I don't know if they're going to attack over here. I'm going to attack up the ramp. I'm going to attack over here. So I'm putting the cannon in all three locations while I continue to ramp up my uh, doings. As you see, I, I got the... Uh, First round of upgrades, and now I'm in the process of building the Twilight Council so I can continue my upgrades. Continuing to get uh, units. Uh, they are going. I've, I'm actually supply blocked here see, because I'm, you know, doing everything at once. I have uh, a supply block. That's not something you want, but it's uh, normal human beings are going to do that. So you, you, know, you don't feel too bad when you do it. it happens to everybody. Okay, especially people who are not uh, big time pros. Again, not something you have to worry about. You're doing everything just perfect. But I sure didn't. Okay, but the, the, you know, spoiler alert, he's going to attack up the ramp. And it's probably going to be soon, but I don't remember exactly how soon. Um, he's going to attack up the ramp. This is where he's going to attack. So my units here are going to be in a good position. And I will be arming the photonic cannon, by the way, when, when that happens. You'll be able to enjoy that. He, as we, uh, see, he hasn't done it yet. I'm just in fair warning that he will. As we got the... Uh, Thing is, now we're, we're building, we're still building, and, uh, and more and more. So we got this uh, Colossi here, 
You go with tons of immortals. You, you don't want too many colossi because they, they can be countered. You know, if you just get a couple and you get a ton of immortals, you know, you're, you're a real good ship. But here, the, the, the colossi are really going to go to town on the drum. These are photonic cannons are armed. He took out one of them, but he couldn't take out the other one. And we're just, we're looking through that. Look at, look at how we just destroyed that. Did we lose anybody? If we did, we didn't lose much. And we lost that guy. That's unfortunate. But we lost so little, and he lost so much. I mean, look at that. 151 to 102. And we're going to go across the map, and we're going to counterattack. We're going to wipe this guy out cold. You know, he's got some of these uh, widow mines here. They're going to do some damage. But not enough to matter. But look at this. We are, we are owning. This is sweet. Look how sweet this is. Boom! You know? Um, get these uh, thingies and they'll hit the uh, Colossi, but not for long. We wipe them out and we're going to wipe out this base. Um, so this is great. You can already see that we're going to win here. Um, this is just shows how powerful these Immortals are. They, they can't deal with it. And the Colossi with support. And I should keep in mind, uh, I, I neglected to mention, but with the uh, Robo thingy, I got the upgrade, the thermal lance upgrade. That's very important. Okay, it's very important for the uh, Colossi. They can they can hit from further away, which, which again is very important because if, if they can hit the enemy and the enemy can't hit them, well, you know what that means. You know that means sweet victory is a coming. <laughs> that's what that means. We like that. And that's what we want. And it really makes the Colossi better. You want that upgrade? It's expensive upgrade, but you want it. Okay, so we're, we're just, we're just, you know, steamrolling here. Um, and and uh, we see our, our supply is going up, the supply is going down, you know, is in fact. We're not, we're not going up yet, so we're going to keep enjoying, having fun as, as I'm steamrolling through here. Um, I can point out for you, the fans, that, uh, the key to keep in mind here is you really want to roll out those immortals and you want to get them done, you know, started, you know, as quickly as you reasonably can. I like to do two robos at once. Now, you can't always do that at first, but it, it, the sooner you can get two, you know, the better. Okay, two robo facilities so that you can be pumping out two immortals at once. And of course, you do need to be on two bases. You know, so that you can do that, um, to be able to afford it. But, but I don't want to stop it too. The two is just a start, because as soon as you reasonably can, you can mind you want to get upgrades and things like that. But you want to be able to, to do three at once. If you can do four at once, great, but you really... Three is your real minimum, okay? Three is your real minimum. Um, you don't want to be satisfied until you're doing three at once. And even then, you don't want to be fully satisfied. You know what I mean? We are really doing some major damage here. Look how great this is. Um, this is. They can't deal with it. There's no way to deal with it. Look at these immortals. And, and the Colossi for, for support. And, 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 you, and you have the uh, you know, stalkers here, just in case they had air units, you know. And, and also the shield thingy, the uh, central field. You know, it's all great. Now we're just, just splitting up the army here and, and we're looking for wherever bases you might have left. We're just wiping them out. So, please keep in mind that, that is the key. The key is the Immortals. That is the top key. The other keys are, please get your uh, upgrades. Uh, don't forget to get some Stalkers for the purpose of uh, defending against air units. Um, as well as, you know, very early on, you, you, you know, before you have your Immortals, Stalkers are all you're going to have. You, you, you want to have something in case somebody has the, some kind of early attack on them. So, you know, they're useful. And they're very useful. But they're not... You don't want to, you know, load your army down with too many of them unnecessarily so you don't have room for enough Immortals. You know, you want to really... So, like, I, I never went above uh, two gateways because you don't need that many Stalkers. You know, so here he's going to... Surrender, but I've already got him about finished off, so I'm going to have to finish him off here. And, uh... So that was sweet. That was victory. And, uh... And again, this was against the highest level, uh, elite level 
a computer with APM of like 350. It's an incredible APM. Again, you will, you will see human professionals who don't have APMs that high. So while obviously the computer is probably not as clever as a human, it is, it is faster. So it's not like you have to be super fast to win with a strategy, okay? So please keep that in mind. This is just crushing. We see I actually end up with the four bases because I end up had this base going too. You get the old uh, robo thingy. You get the upgrades. It's so nice. So I finished. I uh, finished the three three upgrades. I finished all three of, of the you know weapon and shield upgrades. So and we see I had I had a lot of. Uh, I ended up building five robos all together. Right, because these three. And then, uh, you know, these two up here. Actually, it's three up here. Three up here and three down here, so I had six. It was even better, right? I mean, I, by the end, I had, I had half a dozen. It's a heck of a thing. And if you can get that many, uh, you really probably would need to have, you would need to have four bases going in order to be able to pay for all that. But uh, if you, you know, I had four bases here. So if, if you have enough to pay for it, by all means, right? You, the more, the better. You know, and you want to get the uh, immortals. Don't forget the occasional colossi. It, it is good to have... At some point, at least a couple of colossi. Just because certain units, like the marines, that your opponent has just like tons and tons of marines, that isn't that is not optimal for your immortals to face. Okay, your immortals don't really want to face lots and lots of marines. They want to face other things, but your colossus does want to face lots and lots of marines because it can you know hit a lot at once. You know, so that's why you have colossi. In case they have lots of marines, or if you're playing, uh, uh, you know, against the zerg, like zerglings, you know, we can hit a lot of the little units at once, whereas the immortals can't, and the, and they can sort of be overwhelmed, and you, you don't you don't want your immortals to be overwhelmed. So it's helpful. It's real nice. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Sir Gladiator Show. Helping you play better at StarCraft II with the Protoss. I intend to offer you uh, similar tips for how to play and win with all of the uh, uh, races in Protoss. Uh, in the, uh, not just Protoss, in StarCraft II of Protoss and Terran and Zerg. Uh, and I also intend to offer you more tips in terms of Protoss. Like the next one, next Protoss tip I intend to bring you and, and stay tuned for this is um, a really sweet uh, strategy involving air units. Perhaps you enjoy air units more than ground units. And I, I really have a sweet, is probably even just more fun than this build. This build is crushing. It's, it's fun for being a total crushing. It's a slow and steady crushing. I have a, a, a air uh, strategy for you that will involve uh, really even, even more fun. It'll be quicker. It'll be, uh, it's, it is sweet. You have to see it, okay? Trust me, it is sweet, and you will enjoy it. So please stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe so that you will be on top of uh, every uh, video when it comes out. And please uh, share this with your friends. Uh, we uh, depend on support from people like you to, uh, you know, to watch. We, we like that. We need that. So please, uh, and, and please feel free to comment as well. And until next time, this has been your friend and mine, Sir Gladiator. This has been the Sir Gladiator Show. And until next time, have a great day.